Answer me this one simple question. When I look through this door, I see a sofa and a kitchen. So when I walk around the corner here, I should see a sofa, right? Wrong. There's... <laughs> Why is it so big? Where, where does it go? It has been over two years and I'm once again looking at the immersive portals mod. This is one of my absolute favorite mods of all time. I mean, look at this wolf and look how he just disappears. It is such a, such a simple effect, yet so powerful. And he's actually in the room with me right now. I've just set up a portal right here. You can even see it on the hitbox of the blocks. And also, oh, 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 what is happening? What is it doing? Whoa. So if I just delete the portal here, you're gonna see the dogs here. Yeah, this is the room. And now if we go through here, we are still... I think we still got a portal here, right? So if we get rid of this portal as well... Yeah, there you go. Basically, it's just two buildings. I've got two buildings and I've got a portal that connects them. One of the buildings uh, has the dog, which is the one up there. And this one has the... No, what? The... Wh Wait, I went back... <laughs> what? Wait, now I'm confused. How? Hey, this is the one. This is the one. What? Oh, I didn't remove the portals over there. Wait, I get it. I get it. I'm on. I, it's okay. I understand. I understand. When I go, yeah, I get it. There's still, a, there's still a portal here. There we go. Yes. All right. It should be fixed now. I am in. Yes, I'm in the bottom house. My OG viewers will know I loved immersive portals back in the day. I did so much with this mod. It's crazy. And there are still so many things I want to do, but I've just played great for so long. I completely forgot about this. My number one favorite thing with immersive portals is the way it works with Pekui. If you don't know what Pekui is, it's a scale mod that lets you scale things. That's how the wolf was huge in the beginning. Let's take the sheep, for example, and just uh, quickly just... Then what I'll do is I'll look at the sheep and then just do scale set Pequi base 0.1. And as you can see, <laughs> the sheep is now tiny. Wait, let me put my... I need, I need the same scale. Hello, sheep. We are now... <laughs> we are now the same. <laughs> look, this is horrible. I, I can't hit the sheep. Where's the hitbox? What's the hitbox? Oh, that's not the hitbox. That's a chunk. How do I get hitboxes? F3... F3... B oh, yeah. Oh, you've got a hitbox. Why am I not... Oh, it's my reach! My reach is so short, yes! <gasps> oh, now I remember, sheep! I remember! Wait, let me get, get out of this hole. Oh, no, I forgot. No! I remember, you can change more than just scale. You'll do scale, set, and then you can do reach! Let's do a reach of 100. Boom. Now, I can break blocks. <laughs> Look at that, I'm breaking the tree over there. This is nuts. Pequi is a whole different mod. Uh, people usually like mix it up and they're like, oh, immersive portals, you can scale stuff and scale. No, scaling is from Pequi. It's a different mod, okay? But Pequi gets really cool when you mix it with immersive portals. We'll just pick up a portal helper here. And if you don't know how this works, I'll show you real quick. You make a portal like this, and then you make another portal over here, for example, and then you light it up and they will connect. It looks normal when I look through here, but if we walk through, I am indeed in the other portal, so we're moving around between the portals. But then you get into scale. Let's make another 2x2 two two portal, but next to it, instead of a 2x2, two two, we'll make a 4x4. Four four. Light up the small one, and as you can see, if you look at the blocks in the portal here, halfway through, we've got double the amount of blocks. And as I get out, I'm now double the size. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and also, it works the other way around. If I go into the big portal, I will be half my size. So now the sheep is just instantly scarier. What? Oh! You can make crazy stuff with the scale of portals. One thing I used to do is uh, games. I made Geometry Dash. It sucks, but it's cool because it's like small and it, it works. I'm most proud of my Nintendo Switch, though. That was sick. And I used these portals to build that small console on a table. I remember that. What was that command? Portal scaled box view. <gasps> this is it. Create scaled box view. This command is my absolute favorite of all time. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Did I do it? Wait, I might have failed. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Wait, now I'm huge. Okay, I've turned into a giant. This is not where the what I intended to... Oh, look, I pushed them around. Right, this is not what I wanted to do. Uh, it, did it work over here? I think it did. I'm lagging out. Oh, I almost did it. Kind of a half fail. So this is a box of portals on a block. I can jump in as well. If we do that, we'll become small. We're supposed to become small, but I... What is happening? There we go! Yes! Now I am tiny shells in this small world with the huge world around me. And I think... Oh, no. Oh no! I made a scale 100 horse and it's killing my game. Wait. Oh, make it scale 10, make it scale 10, make it scale 10. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so you're probably wondering, Shouts, why did you download Immersive Portals again? Other than the fact that it's really cool and obviously very fun, you're about to subscribe right now. There is actually a reason for this. And I'll get into that, but I just want to do one thing first. Just one, one last thing. If you've never seen Immersive Portals before, or if you've seen it before, you just haven't touched it in a while as I have, this effect, this is still so crazy. 
Ha ha wa. So I downloaded this mod hoping that they'd added something new since I last looked at it. As I said, it's been two whole years. And you know what? It looks like they have. When you're creating a new world, there is a new option here called Dimension Stack. And this, it has something to do with immersive portals. I remember something about stacking dimensions, but if we press, what, what, what is this? We've got the nether at the bottom, then the overworld, then Skyland? What is a bright Skyland? And why can I, why can I change this? Like, why can I move the Skyland up and down? Oh, I can't. There's arrows, but I can't. Why well, can drag it around? What is this? So dimension stack is enabled, loop is disabled. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that means you can go between them probably. All right, let's not change anything and just finish, okay? Because I remember there used to be a setting with immersive portals you could turn on. If you did, you dig all the way down to bedrock and when you reach bedrock, you'd actually just fall into the nether, which is insane. And I'm not sure if this is that. I think that is the case. But then what skylands? I've never heard of skylands. Is that like a new dimension in the sky? All right, first off, let's test for, for nether. Is there nether if we dig all the way down? I want to be right with something for once. All right, we are closing in. We should... Oh, yes. This is a good sign. All right, up there is the surface, and we're seeing obsidian. I'm pretty sure that means if we just dig a couple more blocks, we'll fall into the nether. Oh. Oh. Oh, we didn't even fall. That's sad. We're in the nether, obviously, but we... Oh, there we go! <laughs> Wait, let's keep digging straight down here just so we can see it. This is the nether. And we can still look up. Okay, yes, the sky is red in the overworld, despite that being the overworld. Uh, but I mean, other than that, we can look all the way up. So now, of course, I wonder, what is the Skyland? I, I've already forgotten the name. I think it said Skyland. Where? Okay. I'm seeing double clouds right now. We have clouds up here and then the clouds down here. That is... <gasps> Yes! No way! It's like the Aether, but without the portal! Or other. I don't know how to say it, okay? I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. Also, hate it when people shesh on my pronunciation. I am not English. We've got a bunch of water running down. I'm guessing this is where we go between Overworld, yep, and Skyland. And this is just normal Minecraft, but up in the sky. It's even the same biome as below. Wait, is that how it works? Whoa, that would be sick. No, maybe not. Wow. So we can jump down from here. All all the way down into the nether. Obviously, I can't do that right now because I haven't made a tunnel all the way down. But if we make a tunnel, we can do that. Let's just make a hole all the way down in the nether. There we go. I have now made a hole from the surface all the way down to the nether. Now I just have to fly all the way up to the skyland up here. <gasps> Okay, that's interesting. We have some sand falling. I wonder if that sand is going to end up in the nether or not. I guess we'll just have to see. Three, two, one. Oh! Goodbye, Skylands. Hello, Overworld. And lastly... Hello, Nether. I didn't see any sand, though. This is very sad. Where's... <gasps> no! And the fact that this is customizable as well, so you can make your own dimensions. Like, I could make it so the Nether is above the Overworld, right? Because I could move it around. That's sick. And I mean, imagine using this in survival. It's, it's even more crazy. You know what I really want to do now? Like, a short survival series where I make a cool world with, like, something like this. With the Nether and stuff. Everything is, like, the, the dimension stack thing. And then the goal is to just make the craziest base with portals and everything. Man, that would be awesome. Let me know if you want to see that. Uh, thank you so much for watching this one-off video. I'm sorry for no create mode. I'll, I'll, I'll add a picture of a cogwheel here. Thank you very much. <laughs>